Hey guys, uh, this is part three and how to make a doll mop. So, I'm cutting some more. And I have to hurry up because, um, Gotta go watch TV in a minute. This show's about to be on that I really like. In like 40 more minutes. Alright. So, um, I'm cutting strips of fabric. And this could be for any doll size you want it to be. Any doll. For La La Loopsie, Little Fetch Hops, AG dolls. Um, for AG dolls, I would suggest doing a wooden dowel. Because it's taller than a pencil, of course. Some more, some more. Doesn't really matter, I guess. Mm -hmm. and this could even be a fun way on how to decorate your pencils. But it would kind of be ugly. I don't know. But this one's a doll mop, so. So I've cut some little strips, and I'm just gonna glue them over top of my strips that I've already glued. Okay. And, yeah. So if you want more, just glue more down. Of course. What I do is I put at least three or four layers of strings on, but sometimes you don't have to if you don't really want to. But that dry, and then put glue besides. And then glue. You should really, if you're, it's really, if you're using yarn or cutting really thin pieces, you probably just want um, adult supervision because that can be dangerous. You can burn yourself, but it doesn't hurt me for some reason. And I'm old enough to handle a glue, hot glue gun. I've been doing this for I don't know how long. Um, a while. I've been doing crafts with hot glue for about a while. Um, not too long ago when I got my uh, hot glue gun. When I got this, I was pretty nervous of using it the first time. But once I got used to it, I didn't have to make my mom sit and watch me do my crafts with the hot glue gun because she knew I was getting older and I could handle it better and I was used to it so yeah just you want to get used to it before you yeah just get used to it and you even to make it even to be like a professional hot glue gun like working them, you can just ask your mom to guide you through on how to hold it and stuff. But uh, yeah, so how you hold it is you just hold it like this with two fingers, like this, or like this. Like, like this is how I sometimes hold mine. Hold on, there's a string on me. So, I hold mine like this with my with my middle finger, my my marriage finger, my ring finger, I mean, and my pinky finger at the bottom like this, and then my pointer finger at the trigger. So 
it's like a real gun, you know. Alright, so we'll that draw. And set draw. Take and stroke it again. See if any falls off. Oh, alright. So the raggier it looks, the better it will look. Alright, so this is pretty raggy looking. Oh yeah. Alright. So that's still not enough. It's still not enough. So I'm gonna cut more strips. Strip, strip, strips. And guys, please, 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 if you love all my videos and you love my channel, please show it to some of your friends that have a YouTube account and stuff. Please, please, please. It will mean the world to me. And ask them to subscribe. I am, if you guys think I'm a wonderful person, comment in the down board. I try my best on my crafts. I do everything that I can to support you guys and everything. And then... In some of my videos, you're kind of rude to me, but I take up for you guys a lot. You just don't really notice it, but I do. I really do. I really, really, really do. So. So, cut a little bit more. Glue them off. Glue them to a spot that doesn't have that much. Hold on, I'll be right back. Why? Guys, wait one second. My mom's having a talk with me. Not like it.
keep adding. Please watch part four.